Hi there, Tides here. Welcome in, or welcome back to my channel. A little bit about myself. My name is Tides, and I enjoy World of Warcraft, so that's what I stream. I like to stream and uh, record my World of Warcraft gameplay. And recently, my jam is, of course, hardcore classic self-found mode. Uh, and this is my new playlist series. Uh, I usually play a deep prot dwarven warrior here in hardcore classic self-found mode of course but now i just started my new adventure as a mage and an arcane mage is that all right let's go ahead and continue my my play session for this mage we're here in stormwind i just picked up a whole bunch of quests in darkshire or sorry goldshire and now i'm heading back to elwyn actually let me check out this quest harlan Bagley. Harlan needs a resupply. There's a quest here too. I've not seen these quests. I wonder if they're part of a holiday or event. Let me find out. I've never done these quests. Oh, right there. We've been doing a lot of business lately. It seems like everyone is buying armor and sturdy clothes. Almost like they expect a cold, harsh season ahead. But those are future worries. My worry today is that I'm running out of knitted clothing to sell. I need another load from our supplier. If you can take this request to Rima Schneider at the Canal Tailor and Fit Shop, I'd be most grateful. I wonder if it's because this is my first time as a low-level human. Ooh, look at that. Someone's wanting to sell Crow Blade. It's a level... requires level 51... It's a main hand sword, 7 strength, 5 stamina, improves your chance to get a crit strike by 1%. I remember this one. Okay, looks like we're going to do these quick uh, low-level quests here. It's free XP, why not, you know, here in Stormwind City. Ironforge is actually my favorite uh, capital city on the Alliance side. And then Stormwind City. Of course, I love the undead, the forsaken city of Undercity. You need something? Reminds it me of Ironforge. Harlan's business is booming. That's good news, but I wonder why people have need of all that armor. I've heard nothing of open war. Is there something the nobles aren't telling us? Well, thank you for bringing the request. Here's your payment, and I'll see to it that Harlan gets his supplies. My so while Herman we are at it, at I do hope you guys have your absolute favorite drink. Go ahead and get and comfy and ready for this play session. Like you uh, whether that be a but nice cozy tea or a piping hot coffee, Can you take my or if that's a cold, drafty beer. Whatever you quarter. like. What's it's your poison? Actually, I'm about to start my second cup of joe for the day. in this pretty cute uh, whale. It's a blue whale coffee mug. It's actually my housemates. I am drinking a Starbucks Pike's Place roast coffee right now. This is my second cup of uh, Joe coffee for the day. I do have work in a little over an hour and a half, so I figured I'd get one more hour of uh, a play session in on this newly created arcane mage, arcane scholar, human mage. Too bad they didn't get AI voices for like for the uh, children and PC quest givers. Okay, I think that's it for the quests, right? Yeah, on our way back to Goldshire. Oh, look at that. Someone's starting a Deadbinds group. Van Cleef. Chronograph is the name. It's a level 18 Dwarf Hunter. That's a little bit low for Hardcore Classic. A little dangerous. I mean, I know it's doable, but it's a little dangerous. I think at that level, you might... There's a chance your, your attacks could get deflected or parried, whatever. Oh, I mean, it is a ranged Hunter. Maybe missed. I could be wrong, but I like to err on the side of safety as always in Hardcore Classic, especially when it comes to self-found mode. But then again, not, ed not everyone enjoys that adventurous, dangerous side. 
I mean, Hardcore Classic already is dangerous, but Self-Found Mode, come on! Who doesn't enjoy that? Ooh, Dirtleg. This is the person I was talking in general chat earlier when I was leveling on this guy. They're already level 11. Wow. They got to spend their first talent, or second talent point. You start getting those at level 10. Such epic music in the Valley of Heroes here in Stormwind City. So epic. I love being Alliance. I'm sorry, I know Horde are way more favored, but come on, so epic. Who could deny that? Who could deny the power in that epic soundtrack? I'll drink to that. Let me uh, tab out. I'm going to be tabbed out just to make sure I hit the record button. I wanted to try something a little bit different today. Show you guys my face while I'm playing here. Looks like the recording worked. I hope the audio is just fine. I did my best to test it out. Clean up my minimap a bit. I don't think I need IO on this guy. I use IO. I use Raider IO in retail. I don't know why it's showing up in my classic. Uh, minimap. Okay. Questy mask. We don't need mask in here. Okay, I think that should be fine. That should be fine for now. All right, here we are. We're back at Goldshire. Gonna start these quests. Let's see. Usually, you know what? Usually when I do these human quests... Oh, I got a buff. Thank you. What a priest. Texas heals. Much appreciated. Let's reciprocate. Level 33. Okay, usually as a human quest, uh, as a human questing in Elwyn Forest, I usually hit up uh, Forest's Edge for, well, this area west of Forest's Edge. I usually do this first. And I never go over here to the, whatever that cave is, Fargo Deep Mine, until I get the quest to explore it. So we'll just stick to what I'm used to, whatever I'm comfortable with. Don't want to... Uh, disturb the flow of my questing that I've grown to enjoy. Oh! Forgot about the dangers of the spiders. It's level 6. We can take them on. I'm level 5. I can't wait for Fire Blast, the instant cast. Small spider leg. That's that's a that's for one of the cooking um, recipes. Let's go ahead. And, oh, I don't have conjure food yet. I forgot to buy a stack of food. Hmm. And I forgot to pick up cooking. Cooking and first aid and fishing are going to cost a silver each, so I better make up my mind now which one to prioritize, because I am broke in the beginning of self-found mode. <laughs> I'm at 20... I've got 24 copper to my name. Would you look at that? Uh, open up with a frost bolt. Then we're going to spam Fireball. And auto attack. Fighting in the bush! Okay, looks like we see our first kobolds. Let's drink up first. 
<clears throat> By the way, uh, I do have a separate playlist uh, featuring my my play sessions as a deep protection dwarven warrior. So if that's something that might interest you, be be sure to check it out on my channel. He's a bit higher level, so be a bit more exciting compared to my my early playthrough sessions of this arcane mage. He is currently level 32. I want to say he's level 32. Very close to 33. Like two bars, I believe, since I last played last night. Okay, there's our first kobold. Open up with a frostbolt. And then we'll spam him with some fireballs. Times three. Then we'll go into auto attack with the staff. My neck. I think there's a knot in the back of my neck. Ooh, cobalt mining shovel. It's a two handed mace, I believe. Nice. Too bad I can't sell that on auction house. People would buy that for sure, even though it's got no stats. A gold, gold farm people would definitely be willing to drop a shiny penny on that. Okay, let's get. Ooh, spiders and. Let's get that spider out of the way. By the way, here's a tip for you all. This could be the tip of tip of the day for this video at least. If you are looking for bags, a very, very decent, maybe more than decent drop chance for bags, the six slot pouches, is right here to the west of Forest's Edge. It's, um, I I'll show you. I forget the name of that farm. It's one of the farms. I'll show you when I get there. Very, very decent uh, drop rate for six slot pouches. Ooh, I got resisted. Auto attack. Get the stave. Stave skill up, staffs. Nice! Ding! I can learn uh, conjure food now. I miss the old days of WoW. Back in vanilla, every time you leveled up in guild chat, you'd say, Ding! And then you'd get spammed with a whole bunch of grats messages. Oh, I think it is this. No, it's got to be the other farm. I remember there were a bunch of boars. Maybe it, maybe it is this farm. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see if this is the one. Oh, look, someone's asking for a princess group. What can I do for you? Refreshing spring water. Brown. I've got better. I've got conjured water. He doesn't want that. Do I have stuff to vendor? Yeah. Oh, Maybell McClure, Young Lovers Quest, a.k.a. Romeo and Juliet of oh, I'm Elwyn cursed. Forest Quest. My heart quest. belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. So I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield Farm, which is due west of here. Just organizing my bags here as best I can. My one bag, rather. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it is that that farm over there. It's not this one, even though there are a lot of boars here. I can't say I've tried it here. I know for sure I've tried it over there, and it's got a very nice drop rate for six slot pouches or bags. So I'll take you over there right now. I'm gonna pick up the quests over there as well. Sorry, dear. Oh, no, never mind. There's a bear nearby. <laughs> I was going to get my staff scale up with a hit. Here we go. This is the farm. Oh, rabbit. Sorry, thumper. Nope, no scale up. So what is everyone playing in Hardcore Classic WoW? I am very curious. I read all comments, I promise. Even all the hate comments. Pig, princess. The sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. So before she comes to our What's fields... What's that? A level... 
Princess Six Mustafa. human pally. Name is Chizim Chine. As proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your them. time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch to the east. This is the farm right here. Farm. The Stonefield Farm. This is a good. Comes back here. It's a good drop rate for um the pouches, like the six slot pouches. It. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure Vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me, and you'll warm an old widow's heart. Let's go turn in the young lover's quest first. And then we'll go back and we'll uh whack on some kobolds, and then we'll come back. We don't have the quest to pick up a uh, boar meat yet, so we'll be back here soon, eventually. Don't don't you worry. You need something? Uh, I can't stand us being apart. That I have to water see is it. flickering again. Please, adventurer, talk with my grandma. It's got to be something with my video with card. Me, I don't know she why. Can. Maybe it needs an She's update. Our house That's strange. I'm using a very, very, very expensive uh, NVIDIA, one of the latest graphic drivers. If that's something you guys are uh, interested in seeing, like my, my PC specs, um, I'd be happy to post that maybe in my YouTube About section. Uh, but for now, I, I have it listed in my on my uh, Twitch channel, my Twitch page. So just Twitch. Tides Royale. While our families are feuding, Tommy, Joe, and Maybell don't have much of a future, but... There's a link in my YouTube Maybe we can get about them together me section. for just a little while. Hmm, what can we do? I bet William Pessel has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. Alright, kobolds it is. Back to the kobolds. Oh, Billy McCure. Let's go to Billy McCure. He's gonna give me the quest to uh, take out um, that kobold, the named kobold, inside the, the mine. Let's get this guy out of the way. Tides Triton is my name, you kobold tunneler. You better learn that name. Frayed shoes. Five armor compared to seven armor. We're good. Okay, Billy McClure. Uh, Billy McClure. Look at that little cute blue whale coffee mug. It's not a good uh, tea vessel, but it's very good for a nice black coffee, just the way I like it. No creamer, no sweet. Okay, Billy should be over here. Four chunks of boar meat. Oh, let's do that first. The four chunks of boar meat. Cause he I was I was thinking he was gonna give me that quest for the named kobold. Yeah, he doesn't do that until after I get the four boar meat, so we're headed we're headed back to the Stonefield Mar uh Stonefield Farm. Let's see if there's any kobolds here. Usually there's a chest like in that little nook just in front of that entrance to the mine down there. Just a tip for you guys. I don't think I've ever seen anything super great in there, but come on, it's still a chest. Especially in self-found mode, there could be some trade mats in there that you could use, you know, like light leather if you're not a, if you don't happen to be a skinner already. And again in self-found mode, you are unable to trade, so any free trade mats, trade materials, is always good. Okay, so here we are. We're at the Stonefield Farm. And again, again that's uh, a little west. Not west, sorry. East of Forest's Edge. This is a great drop rate for, uh, for bags. Now watch. Now that I've shared that info with you in this video, I'm not going to get any drops knowing my luck. But I swear... I know that this is a good place for six slot uh, pouches to drop at, which is always good in Hardcore Classic. Okay, need three more of those. Let's 
swap to auto attack. Gotta love that snare on Frostbolt. I'm gonna go ahead and drink up for mana. Jeez, no bags yet. <clears throat> I cannot wait to get up my first wand. Corrupted. And make questing so much easier. Ah, man, I better learn the Conjure Food spell soon here. <clears throat> Ooh, level 6 one. Away. There's a Knoll right there. Riverpaw Runt. Oh, he resisted. How dare you, Stone Tusk Boar. Don't you know what happened to the boars in South Park's Make Love Not Warcraft episode? Bam. Okay, two more of the boar meats. I'll drink in real life, too. Ah. Ah, oh, resisted. Getting a low drop on the meats and the bags. I don't know why the dogs are barking out there. Probably the mailman, or mailwoman, or an Amazon driver. Let me just check my window, hold on. Could have been just a squirrel. Pie for Billy. There we go, one more boar meat. Por favor. Ooh, crit on fireball. There we go. Let's turn this in. And she's going to have me go to Billy, and then Billy's going to have me go get the necklace off that named kobold in the mine. Good day to you. Though this wild boar meat is tough. Simmer it enough, and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go. And when you give this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Le the rusty Parts 11 Human Warrior. Beat. we got here baneful mage what is that a no mage greet you 
We got Cheesem Chime, that pally I saw earlier. You know what? Let's test out the boar kill here. Let's see if we get a bag. It's too far away. I still stand by my words earlier, though. The Stonefield farm has a decent uh, six-slot pouch drop rate. There we go. We got to kill Col Gold Tooth. Oh, yeah, I have a video about Gold Tooth on, on my channel, actually. When I was early on in my uh, WoW Classic Hardcore um, adventure, they didn't have self-found then. I made a Gold Tooth um, video. Oops, we're going to start off with Frostbolt for the snare. You know what? I should have stopped by Goldshire to talk to a classmate, a mage class trainer, to learn um, the food spell. But it's okay, I've got food on me right now. We shall be fine, don't you worry. What is that? There's a priest Zabre, level 7 human priest down there. Okay, I gotta be careful, because the kobolds are cowards. They will run when they're near death. Okay, we're gonna drink up. Say goodbye to the blue whale mug. We finished all our coffee for the day. At least I have water nearby on hand I need to get closer. <clears throat> nice nice I know there's a cobalt up there right behind me, so I gotta be careful. <clears throat> Ooh, gold dust, there we go. Put all my quest items together. So here I have my food, here I have my water, my quest items, and trade items. Can't wait to get another bag. <clears throat> Always check your bag. Who's this? Cheesem Chime. Sounds like a Pokemon name. <laughs> I already greeted him earlier. Oh shit. He's gonna get to Gold Tooth before me, oh no! He's getting ganged up on. He should be fine. He's a pally. Maybe. Yeah, he should be fine. Maybe. Yeah, he's gonna heal himself. Yup, he's fine. Oh, it's level 7, my gosh. Just realized. Ooh, Withered Staff. That might be better than what I currently have. 8 to 12 damage compared to 69 damage. Heck yes. I like that gnarled staff look too. Oh my god. Oh my, is he gonna die? Oh, this does not look good.
Dang, these guys are all level 7s. So dangerous. He should be fine. Oh, shoot! Oh, no! Okay, this guy's level 6. We're fine. Oh, he made it! Okay, things are about to get dangerous, guys. Let's bring my apples, or my pumpkins, down here to, to my action bars. Pretty sure Goldtooth is this way. Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm fairly certain he's that way. Ooh. Oh, crap. We got this, we got this. That Shoot. Still be charging. I don't have any potions on me. <laughs> it's so scary. Okay, we gotta resort to auto attack. Ugh, oh, he's coming this way. He's gonna try and get to gold tooth before me. <clears throat> I better be careful for respawns. I have no pots. I don't have dwarven racial. I'm so used to being a dwarf. <sighs> for the extra armor. There's gold tooth, oh my god. Is there another one? Let's see if he takes gold tooth. <laughs> Would he give me blessing of might? I'll let him get gold tooth first. Just gotta keep an eye out for respawns. Oh, he's also self-found adventurer. Oh shit. I hear fighting behind me. Looks like he's helping me because I kind of helped him too. Oh, yes, there we go. I should have let my mana regenerate earlier. Maybe he is helping me. Safe adventuring. I just typed him thanks. He said, no problem. And I said, safe adventuring. And he said, you too. Oh, look, they're looking for Deadmines group still. Looking for two more for Deadmines. Need healer and DPS. Tegan. Tegan, the 22 Night Elf Priest. That's a good level for Deadmines in Hardcore Classic. That's a very good level. I'd say 21 and up is safe. Oof. Where's the way out of here? I think it's up here. Nope, it's down there. I better hurry up because of respawns. Always watch my back. Yeah, that's the way out of here. I know it. Yep, I knew it. Okay. Hurry up and drink! <clears throat>
drink again. And then we can make a run for it. Oh, shoot. Just run. Nice. We'll be fine. Tezume, that's a cool name. Human Pally level 7 over there. Looks like we need five more gold dust. Four more gold dust now. Three more gold dust. <clears throat> Get closer. I'm gonna drink up here. Oh, respawn. Now we can drink. Auto attack. Nice. Oh, refreshing spring water. That's for the quest nearby, too. There's a daily quest to give that one farmer refreshing spring water. Just one. So that, that worked out for me. It's too far away. Come on, gold dust. We need three more. Bam. Let's check out this area, see if there's any chests that spawned. I don't see any. There's usually one over there behind that rock and one over here. Those are the two places I've seen them spawn at. Still three more gold dust needed. <clears throat> So this add-in, by the way, that lets you see these quest icons on my map, that is on the zone map, that is called uh, Questy. Questy, I'll spell it. Q-U-E-S-T-I-E, -E, Questy. Very, very helpful add-in for Hardcore Classic. Super helpful. Yep, no chests nearby. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to set my timer. <laughs> I usually like to aim for at least around an hour. Ooh, we got our first minor healing potion. I usually like to aim for around an hour's worth of play time. I figured that's a nice, a nice uh, length. For a play session. It's too far away. <clears throat> Ooh, linen cloth. Give me more. Can drink up here. Oh, I need more conjured water. <clears throat> okay, we're at thirty-nine minutes right now. I just checked my recording.
Okay, two more gold dust. Nice. Oh, the music of Elwyn. Oh. Dang. Still aggroed him. Taste my fiery fury. Yes, one more gold dust. Can't wait to start using arcane spells on this arcane mage. I love the sound of the arcane. I just like the theme of arcane mage as well. You know, like presence of mind or whatever that spell is. Then like, I'm pretty sure they have like a clear casting. I think that what that's what the uh, effect was. And I like the sound as well. The sound effects of the arcane spells. There should be one up here. There should be a couple up here actually. Right there. <clears throat> nice! Ding! One more gold dust still though. Tights Triton. So I named this uh this mage after one of the moons of Neptune. There we go, we got our gold dust. Nice, nice. Let's check on the boar kill, see if we get a pouch. I again I don't think it's this farm, it's the other one. It's the Stonefield farm over there. Why am I going this way? Oh! I think that's the guy, Gerard Tiller? I think he's the guy with the daily quest for refreshing spring water. Nope, it's at the Stonefield farm. Let's go back. So, I can train. So, this add-in is called What Can I Train? It gives you a whole list of all the spells you can learn and at what level you'd learn them at, and the cost. So, it's really nice for Hardcore Classic. So I should be able to train Conjure Food and Fire Blast and the next rank of Fireball. Mm, nice linen cloth. Give me more. Sorry, Fawn. I need the stave skill up. I think the guy with the daily quest for water, refreshing spring water, is over there. I believe he gives you apples? I could be wrong. Hey there. Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's, and he always said it was Wasn't lucky. Wasn't it this guy? If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was the other farm. I supply only the finest goods. Let's spend our stuff. So currently we're at 2 silver, 65 copper. It shall become... Three silver, seventy-seven copper, and let's go ahead and move my minor healing pot to my action bars. I usually use it on the V keybind. Okay, let's get another boar kill in here. Come on, six slot pouch. <clears throat> Oof! Resist. That's gotta hurt. Gotta hurt your pride when you get resisted like that. From a boar, too. Still no bags. What is her quest again? I think it was Princess. Oh yeah, Princess. Okay, we're headed to Goldshire. Let me check. Sorry, I'm tapped out. 
Okay. Back in. Cut through here. As we go to Gold Shard to turn in quests. Get some nice XP in. Drink up. wonder why I haven't seen any running kobolds yet. Usually they run away. Maybe it's the ones at Lokmodon that run away. They start to run away, rather. Start of a new journey for Tides Triton. Okay. Should be all right. The McClure Vineyards. I could swear this was the guy that had the um daily quest to give refreshing. Spring water. Not anymore. Weird. Okay, back to Goldshire then. It's a priest, Zavre. That's the one I saw earlier. Nice. Gotta love those drive-by buffs. Especially when they're reciprocated. Paid in kind. Might be spiders lurking around here. Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah, there is one. Ah! Oh my god, that kind of scared me. <laughs> Ooh, small spider leg. Tezume, cool anime sounding name. Sorry, Fawn. Sorry, Thumper. Alright, we've got three turn ins to do. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Safe travels. Thanks for the dust, adventurer. Here's your cash, and here is a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. Adventurer, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, Adventurer, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, Adventurer, and hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. 
Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted. But unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors Let's of find murlocs a cooking are true, trainer. then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, adventurer, and here's your reward. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. I packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestle's Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. My heart goes out to those I think two the mage class souls, trainers upstairs. Maybell and Tommy Joe. Yep. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybell so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes murlocs collect it. See if the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Crystal Lake is just east of Goldshire. Yeah, conjure some food. Make sure I drag the proper ranks, the upgraded uh, rank ups on my spells to my action bars. Looks like we are set. Uh, tailoring trainer, I think they're upstairs. Wait, I already have the tailing skill learned. Sorry, <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, trade supplies guys here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some cooking done. Need help? With mild spices. Be Should careful. be a campfire nearby, right? You just go inside the inn. Bring up cooking. Herb baked egg. Oh wait. I need to Hmm, I need more boar meat. Why did I buy the mild spices? I don't have the the bread learned yet. Let's see. Cooking is a lifelong so, pursuit, and I see we share the same passion. Huh. Could have sworn the Bread was one of the first recipes you learned. Maybe I'm thinking of retail. It's been a while. Okay. I need eggs. Boar meat and wolf meat. And tab out real quick. Okay, I do believe I have a quest. Yeah. Shipment to Stormwind. We can do that. <clears throat> Actually, let's do the Murloc quest first. Oh, shoot. Wolves. Scary. <laughs> oh, I forgot to vendor stuff, too. Let me vendor. Let's vendor a bit, and then we'll do this uh, collecting kelp quest with the murlocs before I call it. Because I do have to get to work soon. I have to get start getting ready for work. Well met. Go with honor. Okay, we are going to reset my buffs of Frost Armor and Arcane Intellect. Let's conjure some water. Drag my food to my action bar. There, should be good. By the way, another tip for you guys, when you... Um, 
when you kill sheep and you loot them, you have a chance of getting wool off of them when you skin, rather, as a skinner. So those of you who are leather working, I know it's a little harsh, but if you go after the, the sheep, it is a, a nice source of, not guaranteed, but a pretty decent source of free wool, wool cloth. For me, in my experience, the best uh, area to get the crystal kelp frond off of the murlocs is this side of the lake, of Crystal Lake. It's the top part right here in this area that I'm making my way over to right now. It's this area. So that's another tip for you guys. I've just found for me, they it's a nice uh, respawn rate in this little nook. So it's really nice. And they have patrols that make their way to you, but not too many. It's a nice it's a nice spot. Forgot to open up with Frostbolt. We've got Fireball. Bam. Usually I save that for last. It's like an execute. Ooh, we got our first bag. Nice. Nice, nice. Very nice. That's gonna be my quest bag. So the bag just above uh, just above my backpack. I like that to be my quest bag. So I'll put all my quest items there. Get closer. So we need three more crystal kelp front. Not a problem. That spell isn't ready yet. Nice, two more. We're on a roll. We got a bag, we got two of the quest items already. Two out of four, halfway there. <clears throat> There's a respawn right there. Oh, looks like that warlock's gonna get it. Betty Bolts, that's a cute name for a no warlock. Oh, there's patrols right there. Do you see the two right there? Okay, one more. Oh, shoot! Where'd you come from? Rude. Damn, nice crit. Let me drink up. Still need one more crystal kelp frond. <clears throat> Tab targeting is your friend. Beware of that duo patrol. Oh, there's one guy running right there. I love the music of Elwyn. I can't wait for the music of, uh, yes, got it. Can't wait for the music of Westfall, though. Okay, we're gonna make our way to Goldshire. Turn this quest in, then we'll head to Stormwind City and turn in the shipment to Morgan Pestle. Oh, fishing! Yay, let's pick up fishing while we're here. How much? I'm at four silver. I think I can pick it up. Hey there, I can teach you fishing skills. Yep, good. Now we need a fishing rod. Skinner, leather worker. I can buy that in Stormwind. Or actually, the trade supply vendor over here in Goldshire. <clears throat> Light be with you. There we go. For the Alliance. 
before we stop by uh, Stormwind, I'm going to turn in this quest. Agaroy, level 17 human rogue. Forgot to check if he was playing self-bound mode. You got them. Good show. Now just one moment while I concoct the potion. Good day to you. Take this invisibility liquor to young Maybell. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Stormwind, here we come. Oh, he's not playing self-bound mode. Sorry, Thumper. Traveling Baker. Oh, wait, I forgot to put uh, tailoring on my action bars. Let's create the bolt of linen cloth. Whoops. Okay, <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, tailoring increased to eight. We need to buy coarse thread. 12 armor on the legs. Nice upgrade. Brown linen shirt. Nope. I want a clo uh I want a chest piece. Yeah, we definitely need coarse thread. We can stop by um the mage district at the uh tailoring trainer over there. Ooh, he's playing self-found, level 11 warrior, dwarven warrior. <laughs> he did the emo to bend lavishes praise upon you. Let me tab out real quick. I think it might make the music go mute. Hey, back in game. No more lock level 20. <clears throat> 19 Night Elf Priest. Not self bound. Sad face. Here is your payment. And Ooh, while you're let's here, go for. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. Explosive rocket times 15 inflicts 28 to 32 fire damage in a three yard radius. Heck yes. See you later. Nice! Level 8, right? Yeah, we can learn. What spells can we learn? We can learn arcane missiles. Yes! Our first arcane spell. Rank 2 of Frostbolt. And we can learn polymorph. Nice! Nice, nice. So exciting. My final, or my, finally my first arcane uh, offensive spell. Uh, but we'll go ahead and train that in the next video, because I do have to get ready for work. Let me just find a nice place to say goodbye to you all. Looks like we did get our hour's worth of... Uh, play session in here in our uh, hardcore classic self-found uh, arcane scholar mage play session Suzanne and Leeson Pierce sitting over here you can join them <clears throat> but what if the resulting frequency shift were to send magical feedback up the flows? At least we wouldn't be around to have to clean it up. <laughs> I was just reading their conversation. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for chiming in to this second video of my Arcane Mage series here in Hardcore Classic Self-Found Mode World of Warcraft. Again, my name is Tides, and I mainly stream World of Warcraft content on Twitch and here on YouTube. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much. This is Tides, signing off.